It's a little early in the season, but these plants are cool season crops and they are ready to be planted out. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Today I'm continuing the uh, Seed to Harvest series I've got going right now. Planted out seeds several weeks ago, showed how to uh, get them started, how to get them under the grow lights, how to plant them out into the, the, you know, transplant them into the next size pot. Today they're ready to go in the garden. It's still pretty early in the season here right now, so I'm not quite out of, uh, out of the cold, so to speak, when it comes to uh, frost, freezes, those kinds of things. But what I'm planting out today are just cool season crops, romaine lettuce, spinach, uh, broccoli, cabbage, um, cauliflower, those kinds of things. They can handle a little bit of frost, but still I do have some protection set up in case it does freeze. Oops, I'm stepping on things. <laughs> It takes, in case it does freeze, because again, it's, it's not uncommon for us to get a freeze this late in the year. I do have some protection set up, which I'll take a minute and I'll show you guys here in just a few minutes. But let's start with getting some things uh, planted out into the garden. I'm going to start with uh, romaine lettuce in this bed right here. And uh, let me bring you in close and we'll show you how I do that. All right, I'm having a hard time getting myself and everything else in camera, but this is the most important spot. Um, you guys can tell I use a no-till garden method, so just a deep mulch method. So first thing I've got to do is just spread out the mulch a little bit, get down to the actual ground. And then, of course, uh, I don't know, root of some kind in there. But, of course, I'm going to uh, just uh, start by digging a little bit of a hole. And really, these things are in um, little plastic cups, so I only need a hole about that deep, just right there. So I'm going to start off, just dig down, and dig myself a little bit of a hole. And that should be plenty deep enough. And I'm going to test that out here. We'll see. Oh yeah, that's plenty deep enough. When I plant these things out, I just want to plant them to the level that the soil is in the, in the pot itself. I don't want to plant them any deeper than that. So these are going to go in just about like that. I've got a bucket of some compost here that, uh, that I uh, composted myself. So that's going to go a little bit of compost in the hole whenever I put this plant in. So let me start with that. And I'm just going to grab a handful of it and throw it in there. And then to get this pot, get this out of the pot, just kind of work it around a little bit, and it should slide right out. Boy, you can see those roots all through there. And again, it just goes right in the hole, and then I'm going to fill it in. Now, I want to keep the wood chips out of it. I want to get just dirt on the hole, so I'm going to push back all this mulch. Scrape up that dirt around there. And then I'm going to top dress it with just a little bit more compost. And you don't have to do this step with the compost. I just find it feeds the plants really well. They really like it. I have the compost on hand. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and move that mulch back around it real close. That'll keep the uh, weeds down. And that'll also uh, keep it kind of moist and damp so we don't have to worry about watering it nearly as much. And that's about all there is to plan that out. Now these, the spacing on these is about every six inches, so I'll go over about six more inches right here. And I'm going to plant the next one right here, and it's the same process. Just move the mulch out of the way, get down to the ground, dig a hole. That's probably plenty deep enough. It's a piece of wire somehow got in there. I swear, Southwest Missouri, you dig, grow more rocks than anything, but rocks aren't going to hurt your garden. That's a piece of pottery or something that got in there somehow. All right. So, again, it's the same process. Throw a little bit of uh, compost down in the hole. Put my plant in there, and I'm going to backfill it in with the dirt around the sides. and top dress it with some compost. And 
And there we go. There's two of them planted out. Get the mulch back around it. And make sure the leaves are all out of the mulch. And there we go. Two of them planted out. I got uh, quite a few more to go, so let me go ahead and get these done, and then I'll come back and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, you can probably see I've got that whole row of romaine lettuce planted out. I'm going to put some spinach on the other side. It's not a huge roll, but that's fine. Um, what I'll do is I'll probably, uh, because romaine grows so fast, I'm going to be using it up pretty quick. I'll just start another set of seeds and uh, get them ready to go here in about a week. And then by the time this is used up, those will be ready to go in its place. So this is a good time to talk about my cold uh, protection here. You can see these PVC hoops here. Um, and then I've got some, some uh, plastic laying on the ground right over there. So let me explain kind of how this thing works. All right, so this is uh, pretty simple, really. These are just PVC hoops. My beds are like three feet across, so I ended up taking a 10-foot piece of PVC, and this is a uh, three-quarter inch, I think. Let me check real quick and make sure I'm right. Um, half inch, sorry, half inch PVC. And then uh, I cut it off at, uh, let's see, I cut it off two feet. So I cut it off at eight feet long and that stretches perfectly across my beds. If I left it at 10 feet, it'd be just a little too tall. So this works pretty well for me. Um, and what I've got here is just, I don't know if you can see this in the ground, it's just a piece of uh, rebar and it's just drove into the ground, oh, about that far. And then the PVC just fits right over the top of that rebar and you just kind of shove it down there. Now, um, what I will need to do is put a ridge line across the top of this because otherwise, um, if I just stretch that plastic over it, it's, it's going to be awful wobbly. Um, so there's a way to kind of do that pretty easily. I'm going to use some, uh, what I've got is paracord because it's just what I've got handy and it's easy to work with. Um, but just some string, any string will work. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I've got a, a tent stake here in the ground. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully I'm still on camera. I'm going to drive that into the ground. I'm going to tie this onto it and tie it onto here real quick. So let me do that and we'll see. <clears throat> Make sure I give myself plenty to work with. And then what I want to do is tie a pretty secure knot right here. So I'm going to use like a double half hitch. Uh, that way this thing doesn't uh, uh, slip. This knot stays pretty secure. Lost track of what I was doing here. Oh, there we go. Okay, tie that down so so that way it, it holds pretty secure. I can pull against that. And then I'm going to slip that through the uh, through the little tent stake I've got in the ground there. And I'm going to tie a, uh, make sure that's in there. There we go, drive it down. Then I'm going to tie a uh, taut line hitch right here so I can adjust the tension on it if I need to. And I want this pretty tight, so there we go. Now that's all I need to do as far as a, a tight, um, excuse me, a tight knot on there. The rest of these, um, what I'm going to do, hopefully you can still see me on camera. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down here and just pull it kind of tight, wrap it around, and that's all it's going to need. And I'll do this all the way down. I can kind of situate it there and then take care of it. That's all it's going to need. Just wrap it around each one one time and then all the way down at the end I'll do the same thing. I'll tie a uh, tight knot in it, tie it out to a tent stake so I can pull it tight that way. And that'll keep these from wobbling too much. That'll keep them pretty sturdy. Alright, so I got my, uh, my PVC all lined up here. I've got it all tight all the way down. It's tied off the other end. Just whoops. Careful not to loosen up my ropes too much. It's tied on the other end just like this. So it's pretty sturdy. Um, you probably can't see that, but it doesn't want to move too much at all. And that'll keep everything kind of secure and tight. And uh, the plastic that I'm using, this is a six mil plastic. It came in, um, see it was a hundred foot roll by 10 feet, I think, and 10 feet's perfect to work over the top of these. It gives about a, a several feet on each side. So the way I do that is um, I don't want to drape it over the whole thing right now because it, it'll, it'll get really hot inside there. Um, I'm only going to use this on days where it's like below freezing. Uh, that'd be the only days that I would drape this over that. But um, all I do is I drape it over, pull it fairly tight. I've got these, uh, oh, you know, $1 shopping bags from a grocery store or whatever. Hopefully you can see these. And I just filled them with rocks. 
So what I do is I drape that plastic over and I set these on top of the plastic. That kind of holds it in place. And then I've got uh, these spring clamps here. Let me find one. And I've got about three of these on each end. I end up clamping one right on the top to hold it down, clamp it closed here on the end, you know, around this rope, and that's really about all there is to it. Um, if we get a freeze, I'll show a video on how I, how I set all this up and uh, go a little bit more in detail on it. But you kind of get the idea. Um, because it is so early in the year, I'm going to go ahead and keep these out here just in case we get a freeze that comes along and I need to uh, cover them up and protect them a little bit. They can handle plenty cold weather uh, as long as we don't get a really hard freeze or a snow or something like that, which is not uncommon. We could. We could. All right, well, I got uh, several other things to plan out, but they're all going to plan out basically the same way. Um, most of this stuff... Uh, Let's see, cabbage probably needs about 10 inch spacing. Um, my broccoli and Brussels sprouts and cauliflower probably need about 12 inch spacing, so 12 inches between the plants. But other than that, it's gonna work the exact same way. So I'm gonna get all this stuff planted out. There's no reason for me to show it all on film. I'm not sure that I'm gonna get it all done today anyway. I've got some other things I've gotta do. Um, but that's basically the process. Once these things get planted out, um, I shouldn't, with all the mulch that I have, I really shouldn't have to do much, if any, watering. We've got rain coming in the next couple of days. But watch your plants. If they start to droop a little bit, uh, that means they need water. So you may need to water at that point right there. I don't do any fertilizing. Um, I let the uh, compost and the mulch and those kinds of things take care of that for me. But if you are going to fertilize your plants, then uh, just uh, you know follow the directions on your fertilizer, uh, whatever strength it tells you to do that, and whatever... Uh, you know, however often it tells you to do that, you can go ahead and feed them out at that point. I don't find it's necessary uh, with compost and good mulch. Um, the worms come up through there. It's, I don't really find that uh, any kind of fertilizer is necessary for me. But this is the way it works for the cold season crops. It's about time to get uh, warm season crops uh, planted, so stick around. Uh, watch my upcoming videos. I'm going to take you all the way through the harvest of these plants. Um, my warm season crops, my tomatoes, my peppers, show you how I get them started, how I get them transplanted out, all the way through the harvest in those two all the way through this year. So if it's your first time gardening, uh, just stick with me. We'll make sure that you have a great harvest season. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, God bless.